Hey, my name's Noah and welcome to the channel. This is a self-balancing robot that I made. Let me show you how it works. Before we get into the video, I just want to let you know that I have a full in-depth YouTube series that follows the entire build process and how we've integrated mechanical, electrical, and control systems to create what we have here. So if you're interested in something like that, the link to the playlist is in the description. And also, I posted all CAD and code on my GitHub, which is linked in the description as well, if you're interested in building something like this for yourself. So, I basically started off this whole thing by modeling the design in Fusion 360. The frame is made of 2020 aluminum extrusion and is held together with various 3D printed connectors. And the panels are made of a thin polycarbonate sheet. All the logic is based on an Arduino Uno, and I'm using an inertial measurement unit to read the angles of the robot and then running some control algorithms to keep the robot upright, essentially. And again, everything is explained in detail in the playlist that I have in the description if you're interested. I have this little potentiometer here to adjust the target angle of the robot uh, so I don't have to fiddle with that value in the code. And I have two switches on the robot, and one is for logic, which is on the top, and another is for the motors. So here you can definitely tell that the motors are working, and the robot is doing a good job keeping itself upright. In terms of performance, it actually works really well. I'm using a remote I made here, and it's pretty easily controlled. It can move throughout the room. and can pretty easily navigate through some obstacles here. Now I want to get to this before too many people click off the video. So here's some good old-fashioned robot abuse. Boston Dynamics style. You can see how it dynamically responds to all of these hits. Well, for the most part. You probably notice these arms it has. They're so that when the robot falls over, it catches itself and doesn't break. And what about outside? Now initially I planned to have two control loops one to keep the robot balanced, and another one for position tracking, so it could go over different surfaces more easily. I ended up not doing that second one, the position tracking loop, because I actually ran out of pins on the Arduino, but it seems like these tires experience a pretty similar rolling resistance between different surfaces, so it's not a huge deal.
So, what about applications? Well, products like the Segway and Hoverboard are using a very similar technology right now for transportation. The high maneuverability and small footprint of such a system would make it a great companion for situations with cluttered environments, like a hospital room to serve or help patients, or even a restaurant to deliver food. Firstly, I think the biggest shortcoming of this robot is probably the motors. They have an internal spur gearbox, so the output of the motor has quite a bit of play. This means that when the robot tries to change direction or when it's trying to balance, the motor is kind of lag behind and is the main reason why the robot can't quite sit still. In the future, I'd consider using a brushless DC motor with Hall Effect positioning sensors for communication. Of course, the robot can't see, so it relies on me and my remote to move around. The next step for this system would be to give it some kind of vision, so it can navigate on its own. All in all, I'm pretty happy with how this project turned out. Depending on how things look in the future, I may work on a version 2 with the changes I talked about and more. If you thought this was pretty cool, hit the like button and share with anyone else who might think so too. With that, I'll sign off. Bye.